Welcome to another Linley's video. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and today I'm visiting the MC and Bolton Abbey Steam Railway here in the Yorkshire Dales. Located along the southern border of the Yorkshire Dales, about 35 miles north of Manchester, Skipton is just nearby. Starting at MC Station, I arrived a bit early before other passengers were around. Life was just beginning on the railway this morning and I had the chance to explore the station. Looking along the line this way, it used to continue a little further to Skipton. There are aspirations on extending there properly once again. The lovely old original station, built in local stone, dates back to 1888, when the former Midland Railway built the line. Closed then in 1965, it was reopened as a heritage line in 1981. The station has been carefully restored and extended with the additional facilities brought in from other local stations. This ticket office is a superb example. As other passengers arrive for the first train, the atmosphere was enhanced by the arrival of the coaches pushed and pulled into place by an energetic 060 tank called Welsh Guardsman. The loco was built in 1944 for the War Department and normally runs, I think, on the Seven Valley Railway. It's running here on loan for the time being. In the cold air this morning, the steam creates a dramatic scene as the loco works hard to get the train ready. With the layout of the track and the points as they are, there is the need for a double chunt to get the coaches out from their storage sidings over to Platform 1, ready for their departure up the line. On Platform 2, the waiting room includes a fine display of photos and stories about the history of the line.
with the train ready, including three fine examples of Mark I coaches carefully restored into a mix of liveries, it was time for me to get aboard for my journey along the line. And we're off. The line is about four miles long, and from MC we head out easterly past the signal box. Hiding in the service depot is a restored six-wheeler saloon dating from 1899. Somewhere in the depot is a fully restored petrol-electric autocar built in 1903. The single track line is in great condition, I think, and is a testament to the teams of volunteers who must work so hard at track and track side maintenance. Hollywell Holt, up just here, is a request stop. I don't think it's used much, as there isn't much around to get off for. As the train sedately trundles along the line, it's easy to look out of the windows and enjoy the peaceful scenery of the beautiful Yorkshire Dales. All the better in this fine weather too. Stoneacre is a passing loop with its own signal box. No need to stop today as there's only one train in steam. And at the end of the line is Bolton Abbey Station. There is currently only one platform in use here. Back in the day there were more but the station is being restored back to include the additional platform. Work in progress. Ladies and gentlemen, as you go to Bolton Abbey Station, once the train has come to a quick stop in the station, can you please leave at least 10 minutes for the train to be cleaned? This station was rebuilt in 1994 as the original site was mostly cleared following the closure of the line. The wooden construction is very different to that of Emsey Station, but is typical of other stations in the area, I assume. The loco needs to run around, ready for the return trip. The tall wooden signal box here was originally at another local station and since it's been moved it seems to need a new lick of paint on the outside.
The interior of the station building includes a lovely cafe, but the seating area is currently closed due to the ongoing national restrictions. There's table service outside, though. This old photo of Bolton Abbey Station shows it as it looked back in the day, when it was in regular use. Hopefully soon the other platforms and buildings will be finished, so the station site will look complete once again. The spacious ticket hall has lots of railway items to look at. It's been tastefully recreated to represent what it would have looked like back in the early 1900s. Back out to the platform to catch the train. And we're off, back to Emsey. The whole line is kept tidy and fits so well with the beautiful countryside. The shiny clean carriages gleam in the sunlight and the interiors are well maintained too. The first class interior with the sprung seats, fancy upholstery and the quiet compartment would have been total luxury back in the day. Well, it still is. through the passing loop, we head on through more Yorkshire Dales countryside. Along the alignment to MC Station, there are some additional carriage storage sheds being built. This facility will help protect and care for the ageing rolling stock. In the well-practiced tradition, the driver is holding out his token for the signalman to snatch at the same time as the signalman holds out the next token for the driver. I wonder if they ever miss or drop one.
back at MC, the loco continues to do the runaround to get ready for the next service departure. With the shunting signal cleared, the loco can proceed across the tracks to gain access to the other platform. And without me this time, the train is ready to depart. I enjoy visiting heritage railways around the country and when I can, I try and include a ride on an old train. There is something special with a ride in an old carriage being pulled along by an energetic steam engine. This is the first time I videoed at a Heritage Railway, so if you have any comments or suggestions, please do add them to the space below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. A little way up the road at Bonsole, further into the Yorkshire Dales, I stop for a pint and a chance to check my map, getting ready for my next adventure. Cheers. Thanks for watching and bye for now.